treatment he purposely kept those flowers you know some some physicians are very naughty like me who want to always experiment try to do something different in life so he kept those flowers and what happened the lady enters <laughs> and she started developing severe asthma the physician was told you know he, she was taken to another room managed and what happened something very shocking she went into another room everything settled down then the lady says you know i was allergic to such flowers why why did you keep this flowers here why did you keep those flowers the physician takes the lady to the flowers makes her touch those flowers and sees that those were paper flowers are you able to see the asthma because of psychological origin i'm just mentioning about this case so that you are able to understand you know how mind can influence and can create a different response and what kind of remedies which will come up you know predominantly the psychological or the hysterical group of remedies will come in this cases like naxmoschetta pulsatilla ignatia phosphorus huh? so predominantly causticum these are the remedies which will come in soric kind of bronchial asthma this is what i was talking about a classical case of charcot which talked about asthma precipitated by paper rose now what is the kind of response and we will understand that it also is very important in management sudden appearance and disappearance of spasm so you know the response is sudden suddenly it comes suddenly it disappears and when you are treating this cases as soon as you re establish you re establish the skin symptoms the asthma disappears okay the breath holding spasms you know the children young children have breath holding spasm which also comes in this category predominantly the breath holding spasms are in this category we go to the next type the psychotic asthma now what is the psychotic asthma predominantly psychotic personality they are what they are slow sluggish jealous revengeful you know they are not the healthy people so from soric there is a transition to psychotic personality with lot of inner conflicts they are in the state of confusion so predominantly what is what is important in psychotic phase the phase of confusion psychotic asthma is aggravated now why most of these cases fall into this category they are aggravated by atmospheric changes like damp rainy season and getting wet as soon as they get wet they get asthma like london atmosphere or bombay atmosphere is very typical for bronchial asthma patient what is the kind of nature now here what happens the the progress is slow 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 and it is prolonged so unlike soric phase there are spikes it's a slow progressing disease it will keep on progressing over a period of days so in relation to time it will be prolonged mark cough with little expectoration what is the nature mark cough with little expectoration the patient will <coughs> nothing comes out very little expectoration you know this is the characteristic he'll keep on coughing 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 but little expectoration even if there is coughing or expectoration what is the kind of expectoration it is yellowish or greenish typical thick okay thick sticky discharges which is predominantly like 
काली बाई क्रोमिकम हाइड्रेस्टिस ओके डेलकामारा रस्टॉक्स दिस आर द रेमेडीज विच विल कम नेट्रम सल्फ मेडोरिनम तोजा दिस आर द रेमेडीज विच विल कम प्रीडोमिनेंटली इन दिस फेज क्लियर सो देर इज अ डिफिकल्टी इन एक्सपेक्टोरेशन एंड इवन इफ द एक्सपेक्टोरेशन कम्स आउट it relieves the asthma much better you will see the child has expected my child vomited and he is much better he is he went off to sleep this is typical psychotic expression there is a suppression of discharge from the mucous membrane or there is a history of cold or sinusitis so what you will get there is a clear cut history my child was having very severe cold i treated this child and then he has developed wheezing okay clear cut suppression of the mucus discharge going from the upper respiratory tract going deep into the system clear now how do we know that your remedy is right the moment you give the medicine re establishment of discharge as soon as you give your medicine if your medicine is right the patient will say oh wheezing has disappeared but doctor my child has again developed severe cold what do i do nothing just allow the cold to settle down so as soon as you re establish the discharge the patient is fine normally it is associated with some kind of musculoskeletal problems like lumbago rheumatism some kind of joint pain something or other is always there okay it's a very clear cut association with musculoskeletal disease it's a psychotic response na so the disease is a prolonged any inflammation or any infection or any disease when remains over a period of time it gets starts affecting other parts of the body which are very susceptible and there is a major immunological change which is happening at this stage so when those immunological changes are happening it will start involving the other parts or the organs the third category is tubercular asthma what is the personality or the look and the feel very thin and narrow chested people huh? not like me broad very thin narrow chested people very easily exhausted so they will do little things boom tired okay aggravation at night which becomes predominant why because now it is transiting from psychotic to tubercular from tubercular to the syphilitic phase it will start developing predominant aggravation at night mark anxiety with lot of imagination you know this is the beauty of uh, bronchial asthma in tubercular phase or a tubercular miasm building castles in air too much of creativity too many things you know they they get involved with lot of creativity lot of imaginations and what what is the expressions here how does it express these are very difficult to manage the most difficult asthmas to manage are tubercular miasms you know they will the difference between the normality if this is the normality even the base there is lot of difference we saw psychotic was somewhere here soric was somewhere here but in tubercular miasm there is always a gap second thing which is very important it will have a kind of a aggravation amelioration phase but it will never touch the normality it will never touch normality and in the morning you examine this patient the patient is absolutely normal by evening he'll have a severe attack sudden severe recurrence so this acute exacerbations in the tubercular phases are very severe 